One man is in police custody after killing his wife, according to police. This all happened this morning in Oliver Springs. The TBI says officers were called to a domestic disturbance in the 100 block of Midway Drive. This man you're about to see, Nathan Newport, is in police custody right now. Six on your side reporter Kristen Gallant was at the scene all day and has the latest in our top story tonight. Those who live along Midway Street in Oliver Springs say this is usually a very quiet neighborhood. They weren't expecting to wake up to police lights earlier this morning. When you hear somebody getting killed, it's terrified, especially this close. Nancy Langley woke up to police lights piercing through the trees and her road blocked off. All I know somebody called around about 5.30 or 6, said they heard gunshots. Next thing I knew, there they were, you know, and everything. But it was normal to me because, like I said, he shoot his gun a lot. Nathan Newport has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder of his wife, Janice Newport. There's no reason for the community to have any fear. Uh, obviously, it's a concern anytime there's violence in our community. And, of course, this is a tragedy for the community. It's a tragedy for this family. Uh, but it appears that this was a domestic dispute that turned into a tragedy this morning. Police Chief David Laxton says multiple agencies, including the Oak Ridge SWAT team and TBI, responded to this infrequent level of crime. They do happen. You have domestic situations that turn deadly. Um, it is something that can and will happen. Uh, Oliver Springs is a small, quiet town. However, you know, here recently we've basically had a uh, homicide about every two to five years. You know, it's not unheard of for, you know, rural communities. Nancy said she spoke to her neighbors a handful of times and never thought something like this would happen so close to home. When I seen him out, you know, I spoke to him and he was always kind and polite, you know. Never had, never thought they had any problems. This is an ongoing investigation. We'll be sure to update you with any new information. Reporting in Oliver Springs, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6, on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you. You know, according to the district attorney, no bond has been set for Newport yet. Now, he is being held at the Anderson County Jail and will appear in court in Oak Ridge tomorrow morning.